Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Master Darkrai. Master. <sighs> He's back. Evil voice guy. I've missed you. Great. Ashram and Zekrom were able to save you. Being able to return to Wish Park like this. Pikachu, Snivy, Tepic, Oshawott. There's something I must say. Thank you. I can't apologize enough for trying to destroy your bonds of friendship. Forget about it. I mean, come on. We're still getting along great. We sure are. If you're gonna thank somebody, thank Gothita and Gotharita. They're, they're who told us Gothel was waiting for you to come back. Yes, I see. Gothita, Gotharita, and you too, Gothel. Thank you. Also, I must apologize to you as well for eating the meatloaf. I pursued my own ambitions blindly. I didn't consider how you felt. That's not it. Your wishes are our wishes. You should know that. After all this, you still say that. But as Wish Park was being drawn into the Dark Vortex, I finally realized that I, too, had true friends. Master Darkrai. Hey, we're, while we're at it, you should be friends with us, too. Friends? With you? Why not? Having many friends is a lot of fun. You'll forgive me. Yep. Forgiveness aside, until I went on an adventure with Pikachu. I'd never thought about how important friends are. Just like you, Darkrai. And once again, Pikachu is the silent hero. <laughs> Pikachu, you have an unusual power indeed. The ability to bring many different Pokemon together. Darkrai's friended! Woohoo! No, this is not where you're led off to after the cutscene. You actually start out at the Wish Palace. I simply cut forward to myself leaving the place. Anyway, this part, I'm going to go back to the attractions to replay them, as well as rebattle the, uh, um, I can't think of the name, attraction keepers. <laughs> anyway, we know the rules, so let's get this going. I think, I think, I think I'll use Tepig this time, just for kicks. Here we go. Remember, I did this before with uh, Pikachu and Oshawa, that's why I thought I would do it with uh, Tepeg this time to see what might look a little different, like say, your cursor? Yeah, your cursor is different for each Pokemon, and yeah, see the ears of Tepeg on that? I guess that's, they give you different cursors so that you're able to keep track of it a little bit more easily when you're in a multiplayer game, because you know when cursors are flying all over the screen like that, it's, it's kind of hard to keep track of it. <laughs> Anyway, come on, come on, come on. Let's see if I can get over 60,000 just for the kicks. <laughs> you don't have to replay these, but there is a little high score thingamabob that is now attached to each of these mini games, which I'm hoping to beat on each of them. Hopefully, <laughs> especially since one of them is going to be an experimental run of sorts. The one at the power zone. You know, because I want to see what happens, I should say I want to show what happens when uh, you accidentally, or purposefully, drop, uh, I mean, hit a bomb in the Power Zone's attraction. And... <laughs> I didn't come close to the uh, uh, 30,000. I mean, I didn't get the 30,000 my first run uh, through this, but um, it was pretty, I mean, it was closer than this. <laughs> Yeah, the RNG is a factor for these games, so don't expect to get the high score each and every time because of that RNG, so don't beat yourself up over it or anything like that. Just keep trying until you get the high score, if, if you want to get the high score. You don't really get uh, anything for getting the high score in terms of like 100%ing or, like, or anything like that. It's just something for um, like a super 100%ers, I guess you could say. 
uh, if if that's your cup of tea. But otherwise, you can completely skip out on redoing these mini games whatsoever. No, 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 not a gold cake. Oh, oh, geez, they're coming in faster. I gotta start mashing the A button. There's no penalties for mashing the A button. Okay, go, 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 go. Come on, sixty thousand. Sixty thousand. Oh, gold cake. Yes, yes. Oh, you can really mash and get the cakes. Uh, really? Oh shoot, missed the gold one. You can really get the cake finished quickly if you just keep mashing above it. Oh, 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 oh I think I'd make it. Make it. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. <laughs> Sixty-five thousand on the dot. Woo! Got kind of lucky there. <laughs> Alright, so there's your rankings board now, which is now attached to the minigames. As I said, it's up to you if you want to beat that first rank one, which is, in this case, 58,000. And you get rewards for getting good scores, okay? Okay, let's quit. <laughs> now it's time to friend the Yan Mask, as well as Kofagrigus, which means we have to re-battle it. Uh, I think I'm going to use Tepig here, because like Pikachu, uh, he's been kind of underused. <laughs> so let's use the piggy for the battle and see how quickly we can demolish that cake. Maybe he'll be able to eat the cake. Oh, jeez! That's not nice of you, Tepig. <laughs> you should pick up a friend when it's down. Not knock it away. <laughs> All right, I don't know how well I'm going to do on this considering that Tepig's, you know, slower and... Got to deal with a bunch of Shadow Balls and Yan Mask. They just keep spawning. But I'm guessing that the extra power and HP will uh, make things a little bit easier. Wow, that's... That's really fast. <laughs> Definitely get out of their way. And they keep spawning infinitely, by the way, if you don't remember. So, yeah. Keep that in mind in your strategy. Yeah. Try and get in between them, you know, like if they're facing in a direction, go in between where they currently are, and yeah. I think I'm doing, yeah, I th it looked like I was doing much damage to the cake, but I was, I was. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I like how I can kind of like knock out the Yan Mask as I am dash attacking things, just because the dash attack has a sort of spread out little flamethrower ember like attack there yeah so it kind of sort of protects me here oh that shadow ball's gonna hit me isn't it no no it didn't you gotta kind of have your eyes all over the screen if you want to try and take as little damage as possible because so much is going on not that any of the, the stuff here are really big threats or anything like that ow <laughs> but you know it, it's because it's the first first uh uh, level boss, I guess you could say, you know, it's uh, this game doesn't necessarily have levels But uh, I, I just use first level as a generic term to say easy <laughs> yeah. Destroy the cake destroy Cake No one likes cake not after the brainwashing Wait, did the end mask finally stop spawning no <laughs> They just started ninja -ing. Mm. Stop it! Stop spawning! You guys are annoying! <laughs> this battle is definitely a little bit trickier uh, when you're slower like this, though. Because it, it makes it harder to uh, get around stuff. Although you can recover from doing a, a dash attack a lot faster uh, than the last Pokémon I used for it. it. At least it feels that way. I don't know. Ah, ah, as strong as ever. Come, our duel shall commence. Alright, remember the strategy? Just close in, start wailing on it, because you'll be inside its extremely long, shadowy hands. See, that works. Well, actually, that took a little bit of damage there. Maybe it won't work with uh, Tepig. I'm used to doing this with either Pikachu or Oshawott. <laughs> I think it's still going to work pretty nicely, just as long as I can do that super fast dash in time with... Uh, um, getting away from its hands, yeah. Not really much of a big deal. Ah, fame. Go, 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 go. 
Yeah, I'm definitely gonna outlast it overall. Again, level one boss. <laughs> I think after this, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'll do, I don't know if I want to do them in order, or if I want to do, if I want to do them in like whatever order I come across them. And ah, uh, come on, get back up. Come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, start to mash the you know, the one button right when it's about to get up, and you should avoid taking damage because it does the same attack every time it gets up. So it's it's rather predictable overall. Again, level one boss. <laughs> anyway, now after battling it again, do you care to work for us? Mm, not interested? Then we shall work for you. Not interested in that either? Then let's be friends. Sounds good. So Kafagrigus is friended along with. The Yan Mask! Oh yeah! Both at once because of that battle. Alright, so let's go back to the center because it's much faster to get to any of the attractions from the center because it's like a, a straight line to them. And uh, what. Okay, that was. I think, I think this is the power zone. This is. Yeah, the dance zone. Okay. I wonder how a pig looks like dancing. I guess we are about to find out. <laughs> Here we go, Chandler. Chandler. Hi, kids, welcome. What do you want to play? The attraction, please. Let's start Dance Inferno. <laughs> dance, dance revolution, baby. Dance like Lil Pony. Dance well and you... What am I reading that for? I don't know, but Tepig is up. Woo! Oh, allergies must be bad this season. Must be all the stardust. Alright. 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 Here we go. So, uh, after this dance, little punny, what do you say you and I head over to a daycare center and, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, get some food or something like that? What were you thinking? Oh, forget it. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna suck at this game like usual. I just, I just, I don't, I don't know, I just don't have the feel for it, I guess. By the way, that beeping is coming from the Wii remote, not the TV. I like being close to the camera so that you can actually get that. Come on now, and... Okay, finally, I got a great after all this time, but it's gonna speed up, and I'm gonna die. <laughs> So many goods! Why? I was getting so many greats my first run through this. It must have been sheer luck. Are you serious? <laughs> Come on. And you can tell I'm doing it because otherwise I would get a bad ranking. Okay, why, why do these work better than the other ones? I don't know. <laughs> I'm getting greats on... Look at that, look at that! Oh wait, wait, oh, 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 mm, oh. I'm just kind of spearing at the screen for each of these, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just seeing if I can get something to register consistently. Oh, that sucked. <laughs> Obviously I need more practice on that. Oh, so sad. <laughs> So what is the score that's uh, tops on the rankings board? 65,000, good lord, I am way, way far away from that. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna quit that, and now I'm gonna do the battle. Yeah, I just, I just for some reason cannot grasp that minigame, I don't know why. There's just something about its feel that doesn't, like, I don't know, register with me. Anyway, I'm gonna do the battle with Oshawott, because last time I came through here I said uh, Pikachu and Oshawott would perform about the same. I mean, Chandler is Ghost and Fire type, so it is weak against, you know, water moves, but why I said they were basically about the same overall is because um, the, uh, the speed of Oshawott is less than Pikachu, so it's harder to dodge stuff. <clears throat> Alright, All right, let's see how things go. Gonna have to battle the speakers, everything all over again. <laughs> Lights. 
Bring it on. I don't know how much money Chandler has to burn that it can just keep flinging its stage lights and expensive video stuff at you. <laughs> no, I don't know if there's any video stuff, but yeah, anyway, lights, come on, come on in, guys, there we go. Yes, break them, break them good, yeah, get out of the way, let them move, let them move towards you, let them groove. Oh, they don't have much of a range, do they? Attack! Ow! One more! Just corner yourself, thank you. And that'll do it. Look out for more! Oh boy! Yeah, just gotta watch the shadows where they're gonna plop down from. Ow! <laughs> ah! Shouldn't try to jump over them. <laughs> it's okay to jump out of the way, but not try to jump over them. Yeah! Yeah, what? Definitely not as nimble as Pika Poop. Oh! <laughs> oh, you guys like slide along the edge no matter what you do. Even if you touch a corner, it's kind of weird. Oh! Ow! Damn! Damn! Speaker! <laughs> okay, get over here. Just wanna make sure you're done with your attack. Boy, wh where do you aim for anyway? Like, I really have to stall to make sure you aim where I want you to go. <laughs> I'm gonna go up this way now. I'm gonna turn this way. Okay, that works. Yeah, these things, their hitbox is really, really wonky. <laughs> yeah, I got it. And we got more wonky hitbox speakers. Yeah. I think it's easier to hit them with uh, Oshawa than it is with Pikachu, though. So maybe. Ah, oh, shoot. Maybe Oshawa. <sighs> I wanted to jump away and not forget it. I think I was accidentally shaking the controller a little. <laughs> run, 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 run! Get in the corner. Oh! Didn't work! Kill those speakers! <laughs> I thought they were at very little HP, which is why I rushed them there. Yeah. <clears throat> How much more do you have? You can't really tell. Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, there. Ah. Ooh. Ooh, ah. There we go. Broke all your toys. Except for that disco ball. Disco attack! Oh. Here! Attack! Oh, soccer! <laughs> Did that do any damage? It just looked like it, it pushed it around a little. <laughs> go, 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 run, run, run! Ow! I'm sucking. This game end well. I'm trying to lead it away so I don't get cornered by it. Oh, jeez! Oh boy, this is what I meant about Oshawa being slower than Pikachu. Kind of has issues. <laughs> oh no 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 I'm gonna try and conserve my HP though more for that disco ball phase because maybe I can um, rush it and give myself an easier time to uh, dodge it and I just sort of failed that. Yeah, it's just not as nimble as Pikachu is versus groups. <laughs> Snivy, of course, would do phenomenal against these. She can do. Pretty much, ah, pretty much any battle, and wow, I'm doing even worse than ever. <laughs> yeah. Okay, one more, one more. Yes, I know I can do that as well, but with so many of these going in all sorts of directions, you kind of want to have a more, have, want to have more control over your distance, I guess you can say, uh, of where you end off at. Uh, <laughs> ah. Nope! Mm. Yeah, I'm doing far worse than ever before. <laughs> and I have to beat it to friend them. Ah. Yeah! Well, it sort of helps. Then the speakers are gonna come, and then the disco ball, and everything's gonna go downhill. <laughs> but yeah, I think you can see now why I chose to use Pikachu over Oshawott despite, um, um, Chandler 
having weakness to Oshawott. It's just the, the phases before that's... It's it's debatable. <laughs> oh shoot, I wanted to dash towards and not use an attack. Okay, over here. Go over here. That works. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Here comes more! Here. When there's more than one, it's just so much more difficult to tackle. <laughs> yeah. Pun intended. Okay, there must be a way to more consistently dodge that disco ball, though. I probably, because it's um, only one, I could probably dodge off to the side, you know, by using, uh, uh, you know, double tapping on the D-pad to, to do quick dodges, and yeah. Hopefully, let's just see here. Ah! Well, not, it won't work if I don't, if I time myself poorly. <laughs> nope. Ah, yeah, I'm gonna switch to someone else. Just not as easy to do with Oshawa. Uh, too snivy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, um, uh, Tepig would have the power and uh, would be more resistant to Chandler's attacks, I suppose, but um, Snivy is. It's gonna destroy everything. <laughs> Yeah, run, 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 run. Even though she's less resilient, it's just... Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, maybe this is going to be more difficult than I thought. Get out of the way. <laughs> I think I'm being a little too reckless now. There we go. Needless to say, this part is a lot of experimentation. <laughs> Okay, run, 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 run. Maybe I should be doing these. <laughs> because I, I can dodge them uh, relatively easy, just as long as uh, uh, I keep my distance and there's no um, there's no timer or anything like that. So yeah, this, this uh, using Leaf Tornadoes might be a wise choice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they, you can predict their movements because they face where they're going and they don't change direction as the ow as they are um as they are moving so yeah you know what you guys are low on hp so i'm just gonna yeah <laughs> oh dang it yeah i wonder how i did so well on this the first try i don't know maybe i'm just being too reckless today <laughs> normally i'm a really patient battler but today just not maybe because i'm you know, just want to get this over with at this point because I'm kind of, uh, kind of been messing around a little bit too much here. And yeah, all right. So, go on, guys, over here. Yeah, that works too. Yeah, I could. I don't mind using leaf tornadoes on you, especially when you guys uh, both go at about the same time, so I can keep grouping you guys together because you guys are so like a, like a track tracking enemy of sorts. Yeah, whenever an enemy likes to track you, lead it into a corner, lead it away from you any way that you can, and then, uh, that just went right in between them, great. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she's gonna have much issue with the Disco Ball. Uh, neither would Pikachu, though. So, yeah, it, that Disco Ball part, all about the speed. And it should finish it off, yep. Disco attack! <laughs> no, no, I wanted to turn around. I'm gonna time this when it's gonna be using its attack so I can do damage to it. Yeah! Uh, did that even do damage to it? Oh! Oh no! Oh! It's glitching! I don't know what the heck it's doing! <laughs> but I know one thing's for sure. I won't have any issues dodging it now. <laughs> yeah, Snivy. She's got the speed, she's got the stuff. Yeah, and I'm not even doing any like side dodges or anything like that, I'm just... Yeah. <laughs> As for Chandler, she might have a little bit more issue, but I doubt it. <laughs> You're not done yet? No, it's time to battle with me. Sure. Sort of nice to um, have rematches in these battles, actually, in all honesty, because it's like... You know, these Pokémon were initially, quote-unquote, thought of as bad. So, 
you know, having a battle with them in sports rather than to, you know, save the world or something like that, it's it's a whole lot different in uh, in its feel than it is in uh, than it would be normally. And yeah, you get what I'm saying here. And that it, this is more of a a friendly battle than it is a everything on the line sort of battle thing. Anyway, I'm gonna keep spamming that leaf tornado, I suppose. Can't even see it actually, it's off screen. At least on my view. I don't know if you can see it, because I know part of the screen is cut off on my TV. And mm, where is it anyway? So is it just gonna keep doing that attack because I'm at a distance from it? I guess so. <laughs> oh no, it's closing in slowly. It's a, except that I'm knocking it back with Leaf Tornado, which is why this is working. I don't care if the lights go out, it doesn't really change much. <laughs> Those, however, will do some... Ah, give you some more annoyances. Uh, dang it. I'm not really bother pfft, not really bothering with, with the Litwicks, because they're just going to keep spawning. And they stay at about the same positions, uh, because they're really, really slow. So I just kind of like, gonna keep that. Ah, maybe I should bother with them, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just thinking because, you know, Snivy's pretty fast. Maybe I over... overestimate Snivy's abilities sometimes. <laughs> like, I keep saying Snivy's OP, but Snivy has lost her share of battles through the course of this walkthrough. So, yeah. Ah. Here. How about... a nice attack? Ah, holy mother of pearl! <laughs> well, I can't say I won this due to Snivy, but, <laughs> but wow, that was a lot of power. Maybe a good speedrunning strategy for these things is just to uh, let your HP get low and then use the assist Pokemon to demolish the world. <laughs> well done, it was fun. Now you and I are dance partners for life. So Chandelure is friended, along with Litwick, and of course, Slampant. I really did a long build up for that. <laughs> Alright, two more attractions to go through. Red one is the power zone, isn't it? I thought maybe. Yeah, so straight across here. Uh, who should I use this time? Hmm. Hmm. Just getting a setup for the battle. I don't know how Pikachu will do, really. It's just something to do that's new. I took over from Gothel, and now I watch the attraction. What do you want to do? Attraction, please. The attraction this way. So, gotta pick a Pokemon, and let's see what bombs do. I guess I'll peek it up. Peek up, peek up! <laughs> Alright, here we go. This is a really quick mini game. Oh, serious face. Alright, this time I'm gonna purposefully try and drop stuff. I mean, purposely try and hit bombs. I'm just gonna keep shaking, no matter what I see, and even if a bomb pops up. Ah, okay, stuns you. <laughs> you don't even lose points. It just stun, uh, just, um, just stalls for time or anything like that. Anyway, now let's play it for realsies. Yeah, trying to fake me out, huh? 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 Well, it's not gonna work. Not gonna work. Uh, typically, the Pokemon move, uh, you want a time for something that's moving, like a straight across. Because I, I don't think there are any bombs that that move from side to side overall. So yeah, it's nothing that's... Well, how am I getting goods on the other ones? They were right in front of the... I mean, they are right on top of the cursor. <laughs> oh well. No, oh, oh, no, oh, mm. You stinky, oh, yeah, I, I, I. Yeah. Tried to get one in at the last second there, just why I did it earlier than the timer. Eh, eh, iffy. <laughs> sort of iffy, eh, sort of, kind of. 
Oh wow, 55,000 for first? <laughs> Time for battle now. Axaros. Let's do it. Redoing the battle will also have you redo that whole um, uh, run and gun plate. No, it's not a run and gun place, but you get what I'm saying. It's like an obstacle course with Pokemon and everything that lead up to Haxorus. So here we go. Remember, just avoid everything that you can and you will be just fine. Anyway, we got a friend that's so... We gotta do this one way or the other. Gotta friend them all. <laughs> Wish I could do those super dashes in the middle of these. I think that would be extra handy, actually. Anyway, gonna have to deal with explosions now. Unless I time myself well. Good. Very good. Very good. Actually, I think I could just... Yeah. <laughs> it's just as long as you rush them. And now... Oh, I thought... As long as I... Oh, no! Go, 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 go! Okay, there we go. You just have to keep running at them as soon as you see them, because you run right under them then. And you got you guys got a pretty large range. Kind of, maybe. It's mostly because you're teaming up. And bye-bye! <laughs> oh, jeez. No, 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 no. And I win. <laughs> Woo! I don't think Pikachu is going to have uh, uh, any issues with Haxorus here. You're as good as ever. Well, we'll settle this in battle. Excellent. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, what you got? What you got? Uh, I remember my strategy. Just wail on you from behind when you do one of your attacks. And wow, Pikachu is pretty effective. <laughs> You just never know what Pokemon are best until you uh, try using them. Like, even Pokemon that have a quote-unquote type advantage can uh, can have issues. <laughs> yeah. A little bit more... That was quick. <laughs> yeah! That was probably the quickest wing of the Wish Park yet. Anyway, Haxorus is friended. One more to do here. So, so let's go to the Flight Zone now. Gonna zigzag through some stuff, of course, but uh, Flight Zone is... This way. It's the more technological one on the blue. Yes, yeah, it's, it's nice to memorize the colors to speed things along. Oh, and yes, I know I gotta get Pokemon like Sableye and stuff like that back at the tech area, but Golet really soured my taste. <laughs> so I just didn't feel like doing much more there, and I went in the wrong direction. Dang it. Mm, yeah, mm, mm. I'm stupid. <laughs> anyway, here we go. I'm so pleased that Wish Park's gotten lively. What would you like to do? Attraction. Flight of Fancy. Who should do it this time, I wonder? Maybe... Maybe... A piggy, because... Pigs will be able to fly. <laughs> Here we go. Loading screens. They are truly the bane of my existence. Alright, here you go. How well will I do this time? Who knows? I was kind of messing around there. <laughs> oh, I somehow missed the ring. That gives me. Yeah! Speed boost plus more points. You wanna. The speed, the speed ups from those rings, you want to keep doing wherever you can because, as I said, you get more points for doing that, and this, the idea of this is points on the Milky Way here. This also looks kind of rainbowy, so it's like the, the rainbow road of sorts. 
Only we had the Rainbow Road music to go along with it. Okay, I'm being annoying now. <laughs> Just kind of messing around. No, you don't, Slowpoke. I'm not running into you anytime soon. Actually, I, is that, I'm not sure if you can really, like, run into stuff. I've never done it before. Maybe I should try that. Let's try... Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa! That actually gives me stuff. Like, perhaps running into some stuff was actually good. <laughs> it's, not, it's not something that I ever tried before. Because I, I always thought that stuff was an obstacle. Like, you know... When you're out on the overworld, it kind of discourages you from hitting stuff because it stalls you and it also knocks around poor Pokemon. Poor innocent Pokemon. <laughs> oh jeez, go to that side. Yeah, whenever you want to go to a side uh, rather quickly, uh, lean towards it with the Wii Remote and press the 2 button on it, then yeah, you'll be able to zip over to it ASAP. And that was iffy. <laughs> Forty thousand, huh? Well, I guess I wasn't that far off overall. I just gotta make my runs more efficient if I want to uh, get the old ranks. Efficient was the wrong word. I was thinking of accurate. <laughs> um. Oh wait, should I use someone else? Uh, maybe. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll, I'll battle you in a second. I think... Try Oshawott again. Four kicks. Ready? Steady? Mm-hmm. Battle! Battle, 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 battle. Yes, yes, yes. Excitement. You know, I'm really glad that this game, um has a lot more battles than the first Poké Park did, because I think the battles were the most fun part of it, because it, it really felt like, you know, it was Pokémon versus Pokémon, since you since it actually had, you know, the various sizes of Pokémon as well. So it re really gave you a feel of the scale for things, you know, when you're facing off against another Pokémon, that the handheld games just don't really... Oh, no, you don't know. Oh, yes, you do. But anyway, that the handheld games just don't really give you a feel for in their turn-based uh, things. It's something that the anime uh, did a pretty good job of bringing to life, too. But, you know, to, to be able to do this hands-on, you know, yourself, it's a lot it's a lot more interesting than watching it, in all, in all honesty, in my opinion, whatever you want to say. Ah, say. <laughs> anyway, make that jump. There we go. Yes, of course I can defeat you. I'm pretty sure this strategy worked before. Can I possibly knock you off the edge? That would be hilarious. I don't think I can, though. Looks like you're gonna be... Gonna knock you around like a pool ball! Yeah, I can't knock you off the edge, can I? You just kinda bounce around. I guess that would make things a little too easy, wouldn't it? <laughs> Wish I knew what your HP was. Feel my blade! Ow! Yeah. Whoop, that was close. How much more? How much more? <laughs> there we go. Didn't know I took that long. I mean, it's, uh... Not that resilient, is it? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! Arr. You have a pretty big range there, man. That's kind of the point, isn't it? I'm gonna wait out. Oh, shoot! <laughs> well, at least this is open still. Then I still have to... I have to redeal with another I mean the first girder here. Maybe if I could run across. Oh! Thank you! Thank you for playing golf with my head. <laughs> you just got me right over that water hazard. No, it's not a water hazard, but it's it's like Oh! It's like an I would call it an outer bounds area. Run, run, run. Oh shoot, 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 shoot! Okay. Just, just Okay. <laughs> no, I want I want to dash, not do that dash combo. Stop it! Dash when you land on the ground. I will try to defeat you. In fact, I must defeat you. You aren't that difficult to defeat. <laughs> yeah. As long as I just keep doing that, just as you stop flashing, you shouldn't be able to do any damage to me. I think. 
Yeah. Yeah, I hope there's gonna be another Poke Park game. I, I love these games. <laughs> I mean, I know they got like lukewarm ratings because of the controls and whatnot, but I, I really think they are better than uh, reviewers have saying have been saying. I should say professional reviewers have been saying, and I use the term professional loosely <laughs> because I've heard a lot of stuff regarding. Uh, rumors like perhaps some sites are um, ah, paid to boost or not uh, promote games or stuff like that. So I'm, I'm more inclined to believe user reviews than I am the so uh, so and so professional sites. Uh, I mean the so uh, professional reviewers. But anyway, I'm rambling on about a subject that is not Poke Part Two. <laughs> Well, I guess it sort of relates to it because the, you know, the game's ratings and stuff like that. But yeah, I really, I really do like the Poke Park 2 games. When you're out in the overworld, they're really relaxing and fun to explore. When you're in battles, it's exciting because you have to deal with different sorts of attacks and uh, deal with all sorts of things. That, because, you know, the po Pokemon are really, really varied, so... It's not like you're dealing with the same sorts of um, enemies over and over, and I even use the term enemies loosely, because Pokémon aren't really enemies, in fact, um, the game's story implies that, that there are no uh, bad Pokémon. <clears throat> and you know, you know, any Pokémon game implies that there are no bad Pokémon. Congratulations on making it this far. The next thing is a battle between us. Sounds good. And this is going to be the last thing that I'm going to do this part. Ready? Let's do it. Oh yeah, I gotta get underneath you when you do that. So I can attack you right from the center. It just works so well like that. Yeah. Yeah, you... You don't function... Oh wait, you're going to dash at me from a distance, aren't you? Oh! That's... Wait, that's not it. That wasn't the attack I was thinking of. That's... That's a powerful attack too. <laughs> Trying to knock it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Don't you dare do that to me. Oh wait, wait. Uh, okay, you're going in the center, which means it's safe to be under you. Yeah, whatever goes in the center, it's pretty predictable. If it goes off to the side. No, I was gonna say not so much. <laughs> mm, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you, bad boy, bad boy? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, see, whenever it goes in the center, it doesn't really matter uh, what attack it uses, because it just shoots around the outside, so you just, you know exactly where you need to be. This, though, run, 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 <laughs> run, the perimeter works best. Just watch where its shadow is going, and you should be fine, versus this imitation unknown flavoring. Oh! Oh! Okay. <laughs> Siglyph? could be difficult if you don't try and dodge stuff the way that I'm trying to do it. I mean, I should say the way that I'm doing it, but if you do, well, it's kind of a piece of cake. Okay, <laughs> hmm, so it's gonna do that. Yep, whenever it goes to the outside, it always does that attack. Almost done! And it will be my friend. <laughs> The best way to befriend someone is to bash their head in. <laughs> a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna just close in because I'm really close. Oh! Wow, that it even worked to dodge that attack being in close. Wow. <laughs> I guess you could just follow it all, all around the arena as much as you want. And it'll still work. Even though you cannot fly, your mind has no limits. Someday I want to fly with you to a world that nobody has ever visited. There we go! Alright, now let's check out the Wish Park Pokemon friend list here. There isn't all that much to see. Uh, there are Goth Gothita, Gothrita, and Gothel at uh, the Wish Palace, which I'll do last. But and otherwise, everyone is friended now. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next part. Hmm. I wonder if this will work now. Hey. Dark guy. Evil voice guy. Are you there? Hello.
Come on, pick up the phone. Well, actually, this isn't the phone. It's more like just regular chatting. What? What is it? Yes! I knew you would be there. You're back. I've missed you. I just wanted to see if you were there. What? That's all? I am not some sort of science experiment. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. 